day viewers I'm Dodger Moore and welcome to my channel so today's video is going to be a nice short show and tell video on new panniers which I have got for the um, Kawasaki versus X300 they're just little day packs but uh, yeah quite nice so let's find a nice quiet location and I'll go through it I was going to go and do this video in the uh, garage but since it's such a beautiful autumn day we'll go and find a nice spot in the sun and check it out so what better place to go it's a Sunday afternoon than to an industrial estate because basically there shouldn't be anybody there working and uh, yeah down here looks like a pretty good spot here's a nice little spot or just park it here okay so here's the little bags that I've been talking about little day packs um, they're made by SW Motec and they are called SIS bags and they're 10 litre capacity now they aren't waterproof but they do have a waterproof lineup and they've got these little hook latches which sometimes can be a little bit awkward to undo but they're not too bad okay so they have got a waterproof liner that does velcro out but I've left them in and they've got a roll top with a click and yeah you can store all your stuff in there you've also got a little zip compartment on the top here so if you want to put anything in there you can um, the reason why I got these bags is like when I go out for a day ride um, to carry like camera gear and stuff like that and even maybe a cut lunch or something like that um, yeah and they're, they're pretty good for that um, I also have used them on a bigger trip um, just to carry all the odd bits and pieces but um, yeah okay now let's go through what is required for these because these actually do sit on a rack and um, yeah I will show you basically when you want to take these off it's just a matter of pulling on that cord and they just pop off like that okay let's do the other one ah wrong way Roger there you go it's just a matter of hitting them on the side a little bit now they've got these racks from SW Motec and um, they're actually designed for specific bikes the basic install you have a left one and a right one and basically you take the original screws out from here and replace them with the screws that are being provided um, with the rack you also have these little mounts here which need to be screwed on as well and they've all been done with uh, Loctite on the right hand side exactly the same again as you can see two screws there to bolt it onto the frame and then these little clips here which is what holds the bags on now with the bags itself let's have a look at the back of them when you purchase these bags the bags don't come with this actual metal plate um, you need to buy them separately and because basically you can actually strap this um, luggage system without even using the racks you can actually um, attach them just using uh, straps as well now um, the actual rack here is designed for the 15 litre bag they do do a sorry a 10 litre bag they do do a 15 litre bag 
but I found that if I did use the 15 litre bag it might drop a little bit too close to the exhaust pipe so back to the actual um, plate that gets attached it's a nice and simple install they do give you good instructions basically you have to attach all these pieces on and then you need to attach that to the actual bag and there's a screw on one side and a nut on the other and um, it's all done with allen keys now the locking system is this bit here when you pull on this it pulls that little hook up which is the one that latches onto this one here and the other ones they just basically sit in place now um, yeah, you can pull that to undo it or you can do it this way as well now all these nuts and bolts have all been tightened up to specifications plus using um, Loctite um, once they're in place you basically grab the bag now you need to purchase a left hand side plate and a right hand side plate and um, I'm not too sure I think the bags are also left hand and right hand now this one here being the right side has the clip to the front so basically what you do is you line up all of the things there and then it's just a gentle snap on like that and it's attached you can actually attach this also to the frame here just to secure it if it does happen to pop off which it hasn't or you can actually attach it to the strap on the top once again left hand side clip to the front line up all your things here and yep that's clipped on and they are very very sturdy plus they have got a good backing plate and um, the sides are all soft with a bit of there's a bit of um, plastic inside there on on the top on the top and on the bottom and on the front it's all just soft they do take a fair bit being 10 litre bags it's not too too big but in the same token you can actually increase the size of the bag by loosening these straps as well now ideally these packs I just use them as day packs might carry like my camera gear in one of them cut lunch in the other or wet weather gear I just find them absolutely magic I'm really really impressed with them now with the bags itself they have reflective on the sides on the back on the sides on the front nice little logo touch sis bag 10 liters and on the front SW Motec they do good quality gear I must admit yeah I'm very happy with these bags um, we'll have a quick look walk around them as you can see they don't protrude out too far they'd be probably about maybe about an inch less than the actual handlebars itself which is a good thing so you know if you know that you're going to get through with your handlebars through a narrow gap you know the bags are not going to get caught on it unless you take a turn but yeah very very happy with the quality of it so yeah that was a quick walk around show and tell on my SW Motec 10 litre cis bags they are available in 15 litres but their recommendation that you run a 15 litre bag on the left hand side and a 10 litre on the right hand side due to the exhaust
but I'm pretty happy with the bags the quality of the bags they're really well built they were a very easy install and um, they're just ideal to have on the bike for a day trip or even on a long trip when you take in consideration of taking other bags with you it'll be actually quite a good bag to um, put all your little knickknacks in there like gas cooker and and stuff like that um, ideal for your camera gear it's nice and easy to get to it nice and easy accessible um, quick unlatch um, strap which is absolutely great let's get past this bus I hate being in their blind spot but anyway I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a big thumbs up subscribe and don't forget to hit the next notification bell a bit of a tongue twister <laughs> but I will be doing more videos um, my next video I'll probably most most likely do a day trip with the bags and um, I've also got the larger cargo bag which is more ideal for longer trips which I will do as my next show and tell but anyway take care and I'll see you all later